A Trump official is doubling down on his comments about the Statue of Liberty poem. This is Ken Cuccellini, the acting director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. He has drawn a lot of criticism after an interview about the Statue of Liberty poem on NPR. You know the one that goes, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. Watch. Would you also agree that Emma Lazarus's words etched on the Statue of Liberty, give me your tired, your poor, are also part of the American ethos? Uh, they certainly are. Give me your tired and your poor who can stand on their own two feet and who will not become a public charge. Well, last night, Cuccinelli clarified those comments on CNN. Take a listen. Of course, that poem was referring back to people coming from Europe where they had class-based societies where people were considered wretched if they weren't in the right class. Well, presidential candidates are responding, including Beto O'Rourke, who tweeted, this administration finally admitted what we've known all along. They think the Statue of Liberty only applies to white people. Okay, so let's go back to the poem and how he revised it, saying that they should have to stand on their own two feet. What do you make of that? Especially, and I know you've shared this with our own DBL Nation, your mother came here, immigrated here on a boat from Italy, I believe. Do you have the photo or? No, we don't have okay. it in locked in, but yeah, yeah I have it. So Maybe what do you make of that? Um, you know, I think it's up for interpretation. It, it, what you mean, back then, I can't speak for my grandfather or what he wanted when he came to America, but it was for a better life. And it came here to work for for a better life. We didn't want anything handed to him. Didn't want, he wanted to work for a better life. That's what that means to me for the Statue of Liberty. He might, he interpreted that way differently. What I said kind of means the same thing, but we said it in two different right, ways. You know what I mean? Yeah, and words matter. Right. Words absolutely matter. What did you make of, make of that, Erica? Um, I made of it that, yes, um, it applies to white people, maybe white people who weren't um, considered as elite where they were from, so they came here to create a better life. It feel, feels very similar to any other immigrant who weren't considered as elite, so they come here for a better life. There's this idea of firstness that we're all pretty obsessed with in this country, because the reason for that is when you're first, you get to be the tastemakers and decide that although you came up from this privilege of being first, you can decide that other people will be held down because you were here first. So it's really about who came here first and decided to make things the way that they're going to be. Yeah, and I don't like this this um, interpretation or not even a misunderstanding, but this narrative that immigrants so desperate to come here for a better life like your grandfather and your mother and like the people escaping war-torn countries. My grandmother escaped war-torn Germany as a teenager here in America. And I know that the same thing is happening in, in Honduras and in Guatemala. I don't think, I don't think the vast majority of these people are asking for handouts. Well, I know, like when I drive around all day, all I do is I see immigrants in hammocks just hanging out, having some lemonade. Wait a second, we don't see that. Right. People come over here, whether it was your grandparents, whether it's people from Honduras, Guatemala, anywhere, they came over here to work and send money back, work and give their, like Raquel Villanueva, give their, their sons and daughters the American dream, not even for themselves. It's, it's a really selfless thing. So when I look at Mr. Cuccinelli, the, the fact that, that that he's even speaking on this is almost a slap in the face because when you talk to people uh, who who have uh, grandparents of Italian descent, of Irish descent, the, they the, they beam with pride when they say, "My grandfather came here with nothing and he worked, and now he owns half of this." My grandmother came here with nothing and she put four boys through college. There's a sense of pride with, of of that with that. And, that's, and so what that's he's saying is almost a slap in the face yeah. to everyone. He, without him realizing it, he's, he's, he's really uh, insulting the people that came over here to work, no matter which direction you came from. And that's the majority's story.